Hi, hey, everybody. everybody. Hi. Happy Thanksgiving. We Happy hope, Thanksgiving. We hope you are spending it with loved ones and with family and eating a ton of delicious food. And we hope you're all healthy and well. Please be careful on Black Friday if you are going out. If you're going online, good luck. <laughs> okay, so today we have been inspired by Emilio's fig pin collection. He did an amazing job um, explaining and showing you what his collection is all about. And it was a video that we kind of requested of him. So we will be showing our fig pin collection as well. He challenged us to bring about our fig pins. Yes, and we came prepared, sir. So, so sit down, get your sparkling grape juice, and get ready to enjoy this video. Okay, a little bit about uh, fig pins before we start. Fig pin has been around since 2017 and was created by Dan Williams. He wanted to wear his pins, but not damage them. What Williams decided to do is that he wanted to make pins that you could wear on your clothing or like um, not just as display pieces, even though he did have that in mind, which we'll show you a little bit why. There are about 60 different licenses that the company has made so far, including um, uh, video games, um, Disney, of course, is a huge one. Anime. Yeah, anime, uh, Star Wars, Marvel, uh, just a plethora of different things. So that's really cool in it of itself. Um, there are also three different sizes of fig pins. We will show you all of those today. They come from a variety of retailers and usually are priced originally at seven to twenty five dollars depending on the size of each fig pin of course each retailer will have their own uh, discounts and whatnot available on fig pins and there is an app which uh, i will end up showing you at the end of the video to kind of explain a little bit more about like the benefits and um, the collectability of fig pins if you have any doubts whatsoever during this video. So stick around for that. Now you'll notice also there is a different background. We're in a different spot today. We actually had to bring this out to the kitchen, the dining room area. Um, our little media spot that we normally do this kind of stuff was not going to cut it for today's video, not for this collection. So anything else before we get started? Uh, Figpin is working with all of the companies on their website uh, or the licenses that they do have already in obtaining uh, more designs for different characters and uh, hopefully getting more licenses in the future. So uh, we will add more stuff as we go along. So let's get started. Let's go. The first one we have, and we're going to try and show these in groups as we have them. Um, but. Uh, here we go. There's our first little grouping. Oh, that's nice. That's it really is nice. Stitch. We have Mr. Cool Guy Stitch. And look, he's so hard, so cool. But he's got a little scrump on his t-shirt. Oh. And this one, uh, the first one, the Stitch Scrump t-shirt, was actually a Hot Topic exclusive. So there are a lot of retailers that will have exclusives made specifically for them. And um, we do have a couple here. There's also limited editions and uh, fig pins you can only get through the app as well. Next, a little pineapple stitch. This one was one of my favorites when I first saw it. I just had to have it because look at that face. Look at his little face. This is so cute. This one is a box lunch exclusive. And the last one is like an open edition. Um, we got it on the Figpin website, I think. Mm, um, I can't remember. Yeah, it's been a while since we've gotten that one. But uh, very cute. And all of these, like the Disney tradable pins, they have serial numbers. The only difference between a Fig mm -hmm. Pin, yes, please, between a Fig Pin and a Disney Pin is that Fig Pins have specific 
unique. Uh, I think it's better if you put that. Okay. Very specific, unique, individualized fig pins. So this specific fig pin will have a unique number on the back that is only exclusive to that fig pin. Even though there's multiple in this particular release, in this style, this is the only one with this number. And I will explain a little more in detail why the serial number is an important part and very unique part of fig pins when I look at the app. Okay, our okay. next collection is the Aliens. Alien Remix. Uh, I think there's about 10, I'm going to say 10, around 10 different uh, variants from the Alien Remix collection. Ooh, variants. This is based off of um, the Alien Remix set that I think came out earlier this year. It's either earlier this year or last year when all the unpleasantness started. <laughs> but um, we have Merida and Carl on the top. Those are both uh, common or open edition fig pins. And then on the bottom, we have a glittery two pack that came to us from Box Lunch. That we picked up at Box Lunch, right? Yes, it was a Box Lunch exclusive. Ooh, those are so pretty. You can really see the glitter on um, Alien Russell. Not too, oh, there it is on Carl. You can kind of so see nice. it. Even though it's the same stance, this one and this one both came in a set together and he was off by himself. He is not glittery at all. Look how big her hair is. Look how big that pin is. Holy cannoli. Yeah, these are sizable. Like these are better quality than a lot of um, regular pins you can get just because these are more durable. They're thicker. They're made to a higher standard than Disney pins, at least in my opinion. A lot of them are quite amazing. Look at those. Cute! It's so nice, and the colors are so vibrant. The pins are laser printed on, um, I think it's a zinc based pin. So uh, highly durable. Next. Very nice. Uh, what do you want to go to next though? Sure. Okay. Next, we have a set of three, with one being a double, so I guess four. Do, do, do. Maybe hold it. Sure. Okay, go ahead. I think I need to scoot to the left, though. Okay. Yeah, we do. You got that one? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so the next one is uh, Onward. I don't know if y'all can see it that well, but um, fairly new, fairly new movie to the Disney universe. So I think it's interesting that they decided to put a license or they had the go ahead for a license that was fairly new. We have Ian, Barley, and the dad. There's actually a fourth one in this set where it's just the lower half of the dad. <laughs> and he's an exclusive, I think, to um, Figpin's website. So that's neat. I'm not sure if I want to get that one because I almost feel like I'd be cheated because I didn't get the whole dad pin, you know, even though it's... Oh, and we did have a uh, second barley, if anybody's interested in trading for that. In case you want to try. Okay, next one... Let's go with this one, okay. since this one's right at the front. Yeah, that works. And it's Pixar. We can kind of get Pixar out of the way. Oh, yeah, that's good. I didn't even realize that, since Onward is Pixar. Mm -hmm. Okay, Raya. These are really nice. I enjoyed this movie a lot. Oh, I did too. We're missing the Ongies and the um, Tuk Tuk. Actually, they haven't made those yet, so I think... I thought we saw a Tuk Tuk. No, I'm pretty sure hmm. they've only made three. Okay. Could be mistaken. So um, Maybe I was dreaming. Forecasting. <laughs> and this one was at GameStop. It did retail for $15. 
Um, we got it on sale, I believe. So mm -hmm. that's always a good one. Yep. And there's another side view. So actually in here, it is a three pronged uh, pin. And this pin back is a very unique piece of technology that allows the pin to stay kind of like a locking back. Um, if you're comparing them to Disney technology. Ooh, that all got moved a little bit. Oh, sorry. That's okay. Okay, uh, next. Let's do some of these single ones. All the single ladies, all the single ladies, all the single ladies. Okay, I don't I don't sing for a living. Sorry. More, more Pixar. We have <laughs> Buzz Lightyear and Forky. Forky. Who's trash. He's not trash. He's trash. He's not trash. Very nice. He belongs to a person now. He's not trash. I really like these. I'd like to see um, Lotso from the third movie. That'd be a nice one. I'm not trash. Oh yeah, and they have very unique backer cards, which is um, basically just a uh, enlarged image of the main fig pin itself. I'm still not trash. He's trash. Okay, next. <laughs> We've got uh, Mickey and Minnie Runaway Railway. This is a box lunch exclusive. Say that three times fast. Yeah, I, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> and this was uh, a 2020 exclusive, so that was fun. Oh, that was my finger. Oh, and this, I think this one just came out um, when Runaway Railway came out in 2020. So like it corresponded exactly when the start of the ride was happening, the opening day of the ride. So that's really cool. Box Lunch was able to partner with Disney to promote something that current. And was happening in the park. I think that's awesome. Yeah, that is super cool. Now we say these are tradable I don't know if they're tradable in the park as of yet, but we do know that they are sold in the park at Disney's Hollywood Studios, so I don't see why not right. that they wouldn't be tradable. Exactly. I'm just going to show you a the unique feature she was talking about with the stand, this or kickstand, backstand, whatever you want to call it. Ta-da! Ooh, that's nice. Isn't she adorable? So if you didn't want to have them on a, uh, a board, you could have them like on your desk or something. That's Ta -ta. really cool. It is a very nice, these are very nice quality. Like we can't stress to you enough how nice the quality is. And we also will show you a size comparison of uh, the three different sizes, mini, regular, and the XL size. Sounds good. And there's the Mickey and his little miniature counterpart. Very cute. And if we come up, you have Minnie and a Mini Mini. I really like this. I hope they kind of make more of the Runaway Railway uh, style pins. I really like those. Yeah, so, and it actually says on there, doesn't it say Fig Pin Mini? Yes. On the descriptions. A, yeah, it says Big Pin Mini. Yeah, Big Pin Mini. And normally what you'll see or what is displayed is this particular size, which is most common. Yeah, that's the regular and most, I think a majority of the Fig Pins available are of the regular size. And they're a good size. They're like mini jumbos if you're comparing them to Disney pins. Yep. Now, let's take that into consideration and with... And more affordable. Um, well, yeah, uh, that is a good point right there. I'm gonna leave that one in there. Should we just use one of these guys? Yeah, we can use uh, that one. Okay, this, you wanna hold it? Okay. That is Baymax, an XL Baymax. Now, put this See how many oh. that mini is? It's like two of the regular sized uh, fig pins. Mm. That is huge. He is ginormous compared to the other ones and the regular size pins. And it's still the same great quality as 
the normal size. Absolutely. This one, this big pin, uh, is a limited edition Baymax. We got it from Entertainment Earth. I don't think they make this anymore, so this is really cool to look at. And if we get a close-up here, Baymax is so cute with his little uh, happiness meter, his health meter. That is so adorable. Very nice quality. And inside, he's on some cardboard. And then you can see uh, the fig pin, um, what do you call that? I guess the equivalent Mickey head actually has fig pin as part of the uh, the logo. There's a little kickstand. I call them kickstands. I know they're, they're probably some technical name that fig pin has given them, but I call them kickstands because that's what it looks like when you're parking a bike, right? You pull out the kickstand and it stands by itself. Okay, the next ones we have are... What do you want to, you want yeah, to do these? Yeah. Okay. okay. The next ones we have are... I'll do these two. Okay. We're big fans of the Mandalorian. So we have the child. Oh, hold on. There, there we, we go. go. So we have uh, Ahsoka Tanu, the child with uh, Mando. I almost forgot there. And two different IG-11s. This one has the child with him in front. And this one does not. He is Mr. B.A. shooting down the bad guys. They also have Quill. They have uh, Moth Gideon, which is really cool. And a couple of other different childs by himself, like sitting in the pod or eating uh, spotchka or drinking spotchka. Uh, but these are really cool. Very nice quality, and uh, they do have some unique characters. Like, you don't ever see Ahsoka, so that's Yeah, very rarely. Awesome. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, yeah. next. Do you want to do next? these? Sure. Okay. We may have to do these in groups. Yeah. That's the last one. Two at a time, maybe. Sure. Okay. This next one is part of, ta-da, Kingdom Hearts. So I think there were two different versions of Kingdom Hearts because this Mickey is from an older set, the original set, and it says King Mickey down on the bottom and it has the uh, collector number 146 as well. So that's pretty cool. This is really cute. The Kingdom Hearts are actually a lot um, harder to find. Very nice. So the number on the sticky note out of uh, Roku, Raiku, I think it's Raiku. Raiku. There we go. Raiku. So the sticky note you saw was the serial number that I have uh, written down so I can enter it into our um, Figpin app. Awesome. And then we have Sora and Goofy. Hayok. That's really cute. Very nice quality, highly detailed. Yeah. Both of these are open edition. I think all of these are open edition, actually. I'm really liking these. Very cool. And we discovered with the app, or at least that one day, that uh, we could only um, enter a certain amount yeah, I think in per day. I think it accepted like 20 and then got frustrated. <laughs> and then I tried to enter more, but it was like, mm, we can only do so many per hour before we get upset. Because it does take a while sometimes to download all the information. And then, look! Very cute. Donald is a very popular one. Like, they're on pin picks. That's how popular Donald is. Shadow Heartless. I really like this guy. I wasn't too big into the game, so I'm not quite sure who this guy is, but I appreciate his design. Can you, is he picking up with that black background? I think so. He looks like a twig, sort of, or like an ant. Looks like Maybe the ant. backer card will be uh, a better, oh. Nope, he's <laughs> the backer card, yeah, it looks all black. <laughs> oh, can, can y'all see him now? Oh yeah, you can kind of see the shadow of it. Okay. Yeah, go up and down, back and forth. There you go. Yeah, you can kind of see it. Yep. 
Very cool. Yeah. Don't know too much he about He looks like him. a big ink blot to me, so I have no idea. Oh, you know what? That kind of makes sense, if I remember correctly. And then this one, we have multiples of because our target just does not do well with this character, apparently. Very cute. Original 13 Mickey. I like this. I do too. He's so mysterious. And um, if we do end up showing you doubles on this video, any of the doubles are available for trade. So. Yep. And apparently I will trade for Funko Pops because I just finished uh, finalizing a trade for some Funko Pops for some pins. Yep. Pin Funko Pop trade. So that's very exciting. Okay. Goes up there. Okay, our next one we got from our buddy Emilio, which will be hilarious because twins, twenty. I forgot that we had one of these already, but I'm I'm really glad this is a nice pin to have. Yeah, I am too. I like it. Oh, and then Emilio bunches. Y'all need to go see his video because he has a really awesome uh, XL fig pin. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Holy cow. Very, very exciting. I really am hoping that they continue with more Disney fig pins. Mm -hmm. And I get a uh, Soul Cat. I would prefer Soul Cat. Very cute idea. Um, we'll see how this shows up with the plastic on. I think it should be fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, not too bad. Right. So we got uh, the March hair. Um, the March hair is an exclusive. It's an it's a limited edition uh, fig pin store exclusive of I think three thousand if I wrote it down correctly. Uh, yeah, three thousand. Oh, good for me. Very nice. This one is available for trade if anybody's interested. The Mad Hatter? Yes. The Mad Hatter is also a limited edition. Or March Hair. Sorry. I don't know what I was talking about. Mad Hatter is also available for trade, limited edition of 3000. I really like these. These came out for the 70th anniversary of Alice. Off with her head. Wait. Oh, sorry. We do have two of those. Off with her head. Off with your head. Okay, fine. <laughs> Very nice. And last but not least, the right Alice. The right Alice. Very cute. Ooh, Absalom. Ooh. Or the oysters. <gasps> yeah. That would the be walrus cute. and the oyster, the carpenter. Yes. That would be very cute. Very nice. Okay, the next ones are strictly for trade. Jasmine, this is a nice one. Emilio did uh, show a close-up of this one on his channel. All of the princess ones are really nice. We just don't really collect princesses. <laughs> we say that. <laughs> yeah, that's a video oh, in the making. That's another story. And then um, Overwatch. Overwatch is a video game? It's either yeah. a computer game or an a video game. We got this one on super sale. Yeah, super cheap cheap. That is the only reason we got that. This and, was on the super cheap. And it is 100% a trader. Yep. So we do have two of those if anybody is interested. Yes. Very nice. This is Tracer. I have no idea. Who or what? Yeah. So <laughs> if you have any knowledge about that, please let me know down in the comments. Okay, one of my favorite collections for fig pins, and in general, would be Nightmare Before Christmas. But Jack, I can't make decisions. There are eight um, in the series for Nightmare Before Christmas. Two of them are fig pin exclusives, and we do not have those. I, I should say figpin.com exclusives. We don't have those, but uh, something to look forward to for Black Friday, maybe. Very cute. I do like the details on these. They've got really nice shadowing. 
Yeah, this is real nice. Real nice backer cards. It would have been cool to see uh, Zero Glow in the Dark, but I think they have a Walmart exclusive that glows in the dark. They also have the Mayor in the Bone Face, right? Yes, that is a uh, Fig Pen exclusive. Or the website exclusive. I'm just going to say website exclusive, and that's going to be the Fig Pen website, okay? <laughs> Very cute. And the other exclusive is Sally holding a basket of Deadly Nightshade, I believe. Ooh. Yeah, which Emilio showed, right? Yes. Did he have it? That was an awesome pen. Very, very cool. Very jealous. No, Bone Daddy. This is a <laughs> nice collection. Because I'm the boogeyman. The boogie boogeyman. Okay. You scared now? Yeah, it's good. And then the one Emilio didn't have ba -bing! is this Walmart exclusive, Jack dressed up as Santa. I think we do, yeah, I think we do have a double of this one. I'll have to double check because we have big pins in a couple of locations. This was a difficult for one uh, because we don't frequent Walmart. Um, we are not... Um, aficionados in that store so yeah this was a, a rare find for us yeah but this one is really really cool yes i do like that okay what do we have next oh, we didn't include these in the toy story collection mm. um, oh we forgot because they weren't we part of the, yeah they weren't aliens sorry these are really nice there we go. Like I said, they should have lots of. They should make him into a uh, fig pen. Yeah. Duke this Kaboom. is so cool. You never get to see Duke Kaboom on anything. And then we have Boat. Boat Peepers. But I don't have her little sheepies. Or, um, I want to call her Giggle Boots Bouncy Time, but I know that's not right. Gabby Gabby? No, the cop. Oh, the cute little, um, the little little people or little tykes. Yeah, the somebody let us know what that cop's name is. Yeah, in something Toy Story little 4. giggles or McGiggles. McGiggles. That sounds McWiggle giggles. That sounds <laughs> good, know. but I'm not quite sure. I would love to see her as a fig pin. That could have been like a little. Oh, that would have been uh, funny. Um, sidekick or addition to Bo Peep. That would have been really nice. Yeah. Ooh. I, One you don't have to make, Fig Pin, are those creepy little puppet guys that follow... Yeah, the ventriloquist dummies. Yeah, no, don't do we it. don't need those. <laughs> or Gabby Gabby. Ugh. You want to do... Yeah. Yeah. We can Here do we an go. intro to that. Yep. Okay, we do have one... Oh, I'm sorry. Shadow box. Earth shake. We do have one shadow box of fig pins. It's not complete by any means. No. But it is a good start to our uh, putting these up. So, dun 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 dun. Boom, boom, boom. Ooh, very nice. We have two different Thanos pins. And they're both XL. Yes, both XL. The left is from Endgame and the right is from Infinity War. Both very nice. This is huge out of the box. Nobody snap your fingers, please. Nobody snap your fingers. There we go. So nice. And I'll take one out of the shadow box and show you. Okay. This is what the back looks like. Very cool. This is actually, this one I'm holding is actually a trader. So, if anybody's interested, and then a close-up of the uh, Infinity War Thanos. This is also a trader. And on the back, this one actually tells you a little bit about um, earning exclusives through the app that they have. And um, each fig pin does have its own unique uh, serial number or code number that you can unlock more awesome fig pin stuff. That looks so nice out of package. And I'm actually using two hands to hold this up because this is a heavy pin. Not, I mean, maybe just the way I was holding it, but it is a hefty pin. Look at that detail. That is so nice. Even you can the see face. the, yeah, he's got his prune face going on. That's what I call him, prune face. And all of this is laser cut and 
really high quality ink inlays. Very nice. I'm gonna do those over there because we've done those. So, so nice. This is awesome. This over here. Do you want this one back? Yeah, yeah, I'll okay. put that one back in. And then we can just show them these. You got to pickle your lips and this like one this. Did have three uh, prongs. I will let you take that back. Oh, you okay? Yeah. Okay. Very nice. So, what do you guys think? Are you interested in fig pins? Do you want to know more about fig pins? Um, do you plan on acquiring any fig pins? Yes. This weekend is an excellent chance to acquire some fig pins. Uh, Figpin is having a Black Friday 30% off all in stock on their website. So I plan on giving it a good hard look. First off, we have Iron Man. I believe this is from Infinity War, but I could be mistaken. Um, they did a couple of different versions of all of the main characters from Infinity War and Endgame. And this was just a random pin that I had happened to find while we were on our trip in July. Um, and it's, uh, what does that say? Uh, Infinity Gauntlet with go. Thanos. So. Yes. It's Did not you... a fig pin, but it's a Marvel pin. Yeah, it was in a comic shop. Okay, going down. Spider Ham, Spider Ham. Do whatever a Spider Ham does. That's really cute. They have uh, the Miles Morales version of fig pins, or a Miles Morales version of Spider Burst, Spider Ham. Um, they have villains. They have Kingpin, which is really cool. We have, uh, I don't know if I can get in there well enough. Let me open this up some more. There you go. They've got Captain America. America. <laughs> Captain America. And down there we've got uh, Hawkeye and Black Widow. There you go. Black Widow is my favorite. That's not really good lighting, but best we can do at the moment. And then... Yeah, we weren't able to bring the studio light in here. Thanos. And then we've got... Star Lord over here. That one's really cool. I don't know if they made Groot or Rocket. So that'd be know. interesting to yeah. look up. I think they only made humans. Hmm. We've seen a nebula, haven't we? Mm, I don't think so. Huh. There is Gamora. Had. That's a neat one. Mm -hmm. And a little Captain Marvel, that's from GameStop, and we do have an extra of that for trade if anybody is looking. It's okay. really cute. So that is everything in the Figpin uh, universe that we have. Awesome. Close this back up. And that was the Marvels. Okay. That's everybody's. All right. Well, that was a workout, everybody. Yeah, lots of arm muscles. Hope you enjoyed uh, looking at uh, some of our, or most all of our collection, except for one, right? That was over there. Mm. One double, maybe, if we, if we have it. No, I think that was everything. Who knows? Yeah. Because yeah. I've missed <laughs> things in the other co pin collection videos. <laughs> that we've done and we need to update the Funko Pop collection video um but yeah let us know down in the comments what you think of fig pins are you going to get any do you have any questions about fig pins that we didn't answer today and um let us know what franchise you're interested in. yeah you, you would want to see as a fig pin they literally have more uh franchises than any Disney pin has one, ever had. One I would like to see come out, and I know you would probably like to see this come out. I would like to see some Studio Ghibli. Yes. 
I demand it, fig pin. I mean, with this laser etching and the details, I think the pins would be gorgeous. So, so beautiful. Ooh, yes. Can you imagine all the Hayao Miyazaki goodness? And so I would Spirited love to away. see some Sword in the Stone, Ooh, only because good. that's one of my favorite movies. That is a good And just bring suggestion. out some of the classics, the classic movies, I think. <gasps> oh, if they come out with The Grinch, The Grinch Ooh. movie, and Cindy Lou Who. That would be cute. Fig yes. Pin. Yes. Oh, mm. can we also get a mystery box? I don't care what, right. care what characters. Yeah. Make it Disney, make it Star Wars, make it Marvel. Oh, they could do the mini size. Yeah, yeah that's a good mini idea. mini size in the mystery boxes. Oh my gosh. Those are awesome. And the, uh, they only cost $10. The yeah. minis yeah. only cost $10. So that would be worth it 100%. And the big ones were what? Roughly, uh, um, look at the back. I this think it was one, on there. For clearance, well, we got that one on clearance. For this one, it was uh, twelve ninety seven, regular seventeen ninety seven. So, uh, basically, like twenty dollars for a huge, huge pin like this. I think that's worth oh, it. This one didn't say. This one was a F uh, Entertainment Earth exclusive. That one was a twenty five, I believe. Yeah, I was gonna say. How about the other one? The other Thanos? Did it have another? Nope. Nope, it didn't. Darn. Okay. Well, remember well, I had stated at the beginning that they range from 7 to $25, oh, okay. and that's it? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Even, uh, actually, I think the two-pack was maybe 30 but you can, it's on discount at Box Lunch. Yes, yeah, so I think like, it's still on sale. Yeah. 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 So awesome. we think it's a good investment. We really enjoy these. We have traded fig pins with Emilio and some other folks. Uh, that we've met on our pen trading journey. And if you're a frequent purchaser on Hot Topic and Box Lunch, you know about if you're not a part of the rewards program, you need to be because they do give you hot cash and Box Lunch money, yes. which you can use towards most of the pins. Yes. Not all of them sometimes, but most of them. I think you can actually use them on the fig pins. Yes, because that's what we used on the Carl and uh, the Russell. Yeah, those were at Box Lunch, mm -hmm. but like I think Hot Topic does it too. Yeah, since they're box or sister stores. Yeah, but um, yeah. I hope everybody. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them down below. Comment, share, like, subscribe yeah. if you're not subscribed already. Just give me another look. And uh, please, the question of the day: Would you buy fig pins now? that we have shared some information about them. Or what franchise in the world doesn't have to be Disney, doesn't have to be associated right. with Disney. Right. What franchise would you want Figpin to make in order for you to be a Figpin collector? Let us know. All right, absolutely. Well, all right. Thank you for coming along on this pin journey with us. We hope to see you again. Give us a big thumbs up if you liked it, like that, big thumbs, and uh, subscribe. Leave us comments down below. Do, 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 do. You know, it's free. And uh, I will have a separate video explaining the reward system and the app. Okay, that's it. That's, yeah, I'm done. Okay, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. Be safe.